What is going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we're in Prosper, Texas at Britton Homes and we're getting ready to check out their Model 519 Alpha. This is a four bedroom, three and a half bath with a three car garage and this home starts at approximately $687,000. So let's go ahead and check out this little entryway right here and we will get inside. All right, so this is, we are winding down. We've got about a week left here in Texas. and We're about to do a huge push. A lot of cool new builders coming up uh, as we kind of get into, you know, a little bit of the, the different areas up here in the northern part of Texas that we've missed. So anyway, as soon as you walk into this beautiful home right here, you've got this nice big foyer, cool little front door right here. And then I'll turn you around so you can check out the ceilings, you've got some nice tray ceilings kind of working all the way down through the foyer. Now, this section right here to our right hand side, this would be uh, the garage area that leads into kind of like a, a mud room uh, area with the laundry room. So, this wall right here would probably be uh, walled off, and then you've got access over there. But we'll get uh, on that side and check it all out in a little bit. There is quite a bit of stuff happening in the foyer. And we'll go ahead and start over here to the left hand side. So this is uh, the first of the many, many bedrooms in this home. Uh, this one sits up towards the front side of the house. And what I love about this home, every one of these bedrooms has, and this is how it should be, every one of the bedrooms has their own ensuite. We've seen them in, in several different builders, you know what I mean? Um, but it just kind of, a lot of you know we've been looking for you know a new house and we've been searching and whoo it is it's rough out there we've come from a, a, a three bedroom one bath so definitely wanting you know our own multiple bathrooms especially for when guests come over so this home right here that we're in right now definitely does that and i love it uh, I actually kind of like what they do right here. This is, uh, they've got a Jack and Jill with a pretty neat little setup. So your actual vanities are in the bedrooms themselves, kind of, you know what I mean, just off of it. But then you've got a door on either side that kind of separates the, the toilet and the shower and tub combo. And these counter spaces on the vanities are super nice too, really big. So here we are coming into the second of the two bedrooms. This one, the closet is actually here in the bedroom as opposed to through kind of the, the bathroom area. But I'll show you where it comes out at once we start walking back towards the foyer. Nice big old closets though. So this is the little hallway back into the foyer. You also have a powder room up here as well. So when all of your guests are over, got the vanity lights and the floating vanity. I like the little accent up underneath of all the vanities as well. And then as we keep working our way down the foyer, a great big light fixture. You got a little coat closet over here to the left-hand side. Again, nice wood hanging down and wood shelves. Then on the opposite side, again, imagine this would be a more of uh, the kind of mud room coming in from your garage. Nice little storage closet right here. Then you got the hall tree with a little bit of storage up underneath of that. And then into the laundry room. So you got a nice little wash basin with the stainless sink. Man, these, uh, <laughs> these washer and dryers are huge. But you also have plenty of cabinets in here as well. Nice adjustable shelves in there. And then you've got a little bit of space up top. Maybe you wanted to do a little decorating in your laundry room, you know what I mean? And then almost all the way to the end of the foyer, you've got another little hallway that leads down to the third bedroom. Now this is kind of more of a, a standalone bedroom. Cool little accent wall though. 
And by standalone, I mean like it's got its own little ensuite. Doesn't share uh, the bathroom with anyone. Cool little light fixtures. And then you've got the, the single vanity in this one with the vanity lights, the toilet, and this one doesn't have a shower and tub combo. It's just got the, the walk-in shower. Yeah, ooh, I tell you, we were getting into some homes this week. My goodness, I did, uh, I had eight uh, manufactured homes I did the other day on the Manufactured Home Tour channel. And then uh, today I'm doing three um, site builds from a couple different builders. And then tomorrow and Sunday, we're, we got a tiny home festival we have to attend before we uh, get into its site builds across the board all next week. So a lot of stuff happening. But all the way at the end of the foyer, you come into your great room. Love the coffered ceilings. Great big light fixture right there too. That thing looks super nice. Then you have the gas fireplace with the tile surround going all the way up to the ceiling. Get over here so you can check. Check it out from this angle. And then just behind that, you come into the kitchen and first thing that pops into my head is just tons of cabinetry all over the place. I also like the two-tone uh, with the white and I guess that's like a, it looks like a gray, maybe a brownish color. Whatever it is, it matches the, the island right here with this huge island. You got some storage up here on the front of it. Let's see how much is in there. It's not super deep, but uh, you know, it goes all the way. I mean, the, the island itself is just super long. Got some pendant lights hanging down over the top of it. Got the trash can drawer. Let's see, test. So not soft clothes, but I'm sure that is something that you could upgrade to. You got the nice undermount sink right here, the dishwasher. And then on the back side, again, like I said, you just have tons of cabinets. You got the accent uh, cabinets up top with that nice glass pane and uh, accent light. This is pretty neat. You've got everything just stacked up right here. Double ovens, you've got the microwave, and then just tons and tons and tons of counter space. You've got the gas range, range hood. Some pot and pan drawers down on the bottom. And then all the way at the end, you do have a pantry that kind of separates all that counter space from your refrigerator area. Nice wood shelves in here. And even more cabinets kind of surrounding the refrigerator. And then this area over here looks like a little wine bar, a little dry bar with some more glass pane cabinets. Now here it doesn't quite go all the way up to the ceiling. So if you wanted to do a little bit of decorating up there, you could as well. And then on the far side of the kitchen, this is like your morning room slash dining room, tons of windows in here, kind of surrounding it. You've got all these views out into your backyard. I like this table, this thing is, <laughs> check this out. It's like concrete legs. And then you've got this nice rustic tabletop. It looks pretty neat. that a lot now we still got a whole bunch of stuff to to do we'll get out back real quick check that out sometimes it takes me a minute to to figure out how to to open the things you never know if they're locked or unlocked at that time but oh check out that that ceiling fan it looks like an airplane propeller all wood and everything we'll get out here it's got a nice little fire pit Get out here so you can see the back. We are, this is a little bit different uh, style of video. I wanted to, to change it up a little bit and just uh, check it out, you know, get right into things as opposed to um, going around the exterior because we can just catch it uh, as we tour the home. So a little bit different. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments, if you like it, if you don't. 
if you're indifferent and you just want to see the inside of the house, all that fun stuff. But from here we will, there's a, like a little game room, little movie theater over here uh, at the end of the foyer that is also just off of uh, the living room. Kind of a cool little spot. You've got the huge vaulted ceiling with the exposed beams, some great big windows. And then just like a little media room, you know what I mean? So you can either turn it into a movie theater room, get the kids in here. Looks like they got it set up with some desks so they can be doing their homework. Which is nice because you can check on them, you know, if everybody's doing their stuff right here in the main section of the house. You can keep an eye on them, make sure those little rascals are doing their homework and stuff. And then on the opposite side of that, uh, just past the sliding glass door, you start working your way down here into this master bedroom. Whoo, this thing, it is nice. You got the double vaulted ceiling right there. I guess that's what you would call it because it's kind of got like the gable vault and then like the vault of a Maybe that's right, I'm not sure. But the huge exposed beam too, nice big light fixture. Tons of windows. It is very bright in here. Great big bed. That's probably like, that, it doesn't even need it because that, uh, that beam up in the ceiling, that's the accent piece, you know what I mean? But this is probably the first time we've toured in quite some time uh, that hasn't had uh, like an accent wall, you know what I mean? A little different. Anyway, so from there you can transition. You got this kind of cool modern looking barn door with the glazed glass that separates the bedroom from the ensuite. And this ensuite, there is so much stuff happening in here. It's ridiculous. Huge, huge soaking tub right here. You got the tray ceiling. Also with some recessed lights, you've got double vanities with tons of counter space on both sides. So you got one right here and then on the other side, you have a, another one as well. Some more kind of privacy glass. Not real sure what you would call it, but it does like, it's all textured and everything. Can't see in. Then on this side, there is a shower in here too, but there are Tons of closets on this side. The other side's where you access the shower. So you got a little linen closet right here. I think this is like the, the walk-in closet. Ooh, I didn't know if they were connected or not. I was, I was thinking in my mind that they were gonna be connected and there would just be a door on either side because we have seen that before. Well, this is pretty neat. Those go way up there too. And then you've got a little bit more storage back behind this door as well. Now the question will be, are they going to be the same size? Or is one going to be bigger than the other? And then you've got on the opposite side, access into the shower. So it drops down just a little bit. You've got normal shower head, a little rainfall shower head up there. And then just tile going all the way up to the ceiling. We'll go in this one. Yeah, so see? This closet, this closet's bigger. Interesting. This one's almost twice the size as the other one. And then right next to that, there's one more door that we gotta get into, and that is the one that hides the toilet. All right, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model or Britain Homes, you can find that right there at the top of the description. It'll be the first little link, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area, you can filter them based off of number of bedrooms, square footage, price, all different types of stuff. And all of that is 100% free. So definitely go spend some time over there. That way you can find the perfect home for you and your family. With all that, my name is Timothy, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.